Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Made for Love and welcome to a sorrel or hibiscus on paper reading, okay? I like these readings that I do in the night. Um, it's calming to me and, you know, people seem to like them and they also find them calming. So it's a win... It's a win, win situation for both of us, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. The energies are so powerful right now. It's the energies of transformation and resistance. That's definitely what I am getting. And I did not plan to say that. So now I know for sure that I have to share with you what happened to me yesterday. Okay, whilst I get this together. So what happened yesterday, I went to um, the Pitch Lake in Trinidad. It's one. It's supposed to be one of the wonders of the world, so you can go look it up. Um, and there, there are parts of this lake where you can actually go. It makes natural pools, and you can actually go there and bathe. And it was such a very spiritual experience. And, you know, we had this tour guide who is in love with the lake and you know when you're hearing about something from someone that loves it it takes on a whole new perspective so it was a very spiritual experience and then at the end of the tour um he gave us three lotus flowers which i have here and they were in bloom and he told me um that they would open up in the day and they would go to sleep in the night so yesterday when i came home <coughs> Through the form, let me just lift this up just a bit. Through the form, they went to sleep. All three of them. Right, so you see where I'm going with this third party situation, everything. All three of them went to sleep. And I thought they would open this morning. And they didn't. So I said, I said maybe they need natural light. Um, and they didn't. So, to me, there's a transformation that wants to happen. But there is resistance here. And there's resistance because people are being taken out of their natural patterns, natural environment. And maybe there's a little bit of a shock that's going on here. So there's also some recalibration um, that's going on here as well. So if they do open up, I will tell you guys. <laughs> if not, I will get us. Will, that will be my symbol that there's a, a still some sort of resistance um, that's going on there. So anyway, the other part of the story is... Oh, I have to... One second. Oh yeah, yeah. One second. Right. So as I was saying, so anywho, so I came home, and I just fell asleep. I was dog tired, and then when I woke up, um, I decided to just do a little meditation. And in the meditation, you know, in that part where you have to ground yourself, you send your roots deep into the earth. This time, when I set my roots. Mm -hmm deep into the ground, I actually sent my roots deep into the pitch lake, which was so weird. I said, okay, well, anyway, I'm going with the flow. Let's see what happens. And then the minute I grounded myself in the pitch lake, um, I saw a vision in front of me, um, a feminine spirit, this water deva just rose up and was standing in front of me with a garland of flowers. So I said to her, are you the lady of the lake? <laughs> I just don't know why I said that. And she just giggled and then she put the flowers on me. And I swear, and she said, I swear she said, Malaf Malafu. And I said, is that your name? And she laughed again. And then she, she gestured to the necklace and then I realized, oh, Mala for you. So I went out today and I bought a Mala. Um, I've never owned one, but I feel an alignment with it, especially um, this particular one, so I'm going to be using it for now. So that's my um, gift there. So that was really interesting. And then when I ended the meditation and I scanned myself, I was encased in pitch, and then the pitch opened up, and I was just radiant and beautiful um, on the inside. So it, it was an interesting experience. Um, I will definitely do it again. So it's a powerful, powerful place. All the... Uh, Little pain I was getting my knees and all of that. That shit is gone, okay? <laughs> so if you're ever down this side, definitely you have to go by the pitch lake. 
um, in Trinidad. Okay. Okay. So anyway, um, this is going to be a karmic or third party reading. So we're going to get messages. If you're in a third party, we're going to get messages about um, the other relationship that's not yours. Okay. That's not you and your person. This is someone else attached to your situation and that is also teaching you um, lessons. So let's dive into this and let's see um, what's going on. Okay. So it might take me a little while <laughs> um, to get the messages, but just give me one more, one moment here. <laughs> all right. So what's happening right now? Well, all eyes on you, all eyes on you, all eyes on you and everybody talking about you right now. Okay. I don't think there's one pair of eyes um, uh, on you. I think there's a pair of eyes that's watching you um, with love. This one here. And there's a pair of eyes that's watching you with malice. And it looks like there are a lot of people <laughs> talking about you right now. What are they saying, Spirit? What are they saying? Well, they're playing the, the blame game, it looks like. They're playing the blame game. They think that you are making some kind of inroads um, into this relationship and influencing this relationship in a particular sort of way. I'm seeing like, um, like they think, they think that you are sending some sort of bad energy, um, to this relationship. Somebody in this relationship is thinking that I think that person that's watching you, um, with this mal um, malicious eyes, I think this is what they're telling people, whether it is family or friends, people in their group, they're saying that you're sending some sort of bad energy, um, to this relationship here. That's what I'm getting, but whatever it is, you are making inroads. Um, into this connection. What else is happening here? Now, both people um, in this third party connection realize that they keep repeating the same cycle. They keep going around um, in the same cycle over and over and over and over again. But what I'm getting as well is that this retrograde is creating some sort of vortex energy. Um, and they're at some sort of choice point and spirit is asking them to align with the next step. Is the next step going to be a repetition of what has gone before or is the next step going to be an exit? Look, is the next step going to be an exit? Now for some of you, there is a pregnancy plan afoot because to me, this looks like a little um, sperm here. So there's a pregnancy plan afoot. Somebody's trying to um, implement that in order for this to stay. But this is also here, I'm seeing a dove and dove is always the intervention of the Holy Spirit. So spirit is very much involved in this right now and trying to show people um, the way out. And the way out is through a processing um, of the shadow and the emotions of the past. Past is, I'm reading this like a candle wax reading, right? Where the past is on this side, um, the spiritual is on this side, the physical is on this side, and the future is on this side. The future here is blocked. The future here is blocked. Whether it's a future together or whether it's a future apart, it's blocked right now. It's a kind of stalemate energy right now because spirit wants them to go back this way. Which is which makes sense because it's making retrograde, right? They want them to go up this way and look at the emotions of the past. I think there's a lot of turmoil um, in the physical world. In their 3D world, there's a lot of turmoil here and a lot of people involved. I've seen a lot of attachments um, to this third party connection. Um, it could be a community, it could be friends, it could be a lots of family members involved in this. You know those families that are very enmeshed um, with each other? So it could definitely be that. And it looks like there's also a lot of spiritual gunk that needs to be processed here. Let's see what other messages we are getting. Now, someone is spending um, a lot of time alone. Um, they're kind of shutting each other out. They're in, this looks like a little cocoon to me right now. <laughs> That's what the flowers were doing, right? Um, this person's in a cocoon. This looks like um, like the butterfly chrysalis. There's a butterfly 
that um, makes um, a cocoon on my parents' lime tree. And it makes it out of um, these like brown little sticks. And this is what it just looks like to me. So somebody um, is in incubation here because even this looks like an egg. They're in incubation. Thinking a lot. This person might be in dark night of the soul. So there's a lot of heavy... There's a lot of density that this person um, has to process, process here. I'm getting they have a lot of helpers in the spirit world trying to help them process this. And it might be the two people um, in this relationship. You know what I'm feeling? I'm seeing here. I'm seeing the void. The void energy. Okay. Um... You know, we're near there in the darkness um, of the wound, right? But there's something that's about to be birthed because this is now looking like a vulva to me right now. So somebody is about to be reborn, but I'm not getting... It's not time yet. There's, a, there's, a, there's still this little blockage right at the end here before whoever this is emerges. So I feel like... I do think it's your counterpart. Or it may be everybody in the situation, quite frankly. They're in their own little void energy, processing a lot of things from the past. Um, past relationships or the past in this relationship. Um, and there's some kind of rebirth that's waiting. But there's also a bit of resistance here. Let's ask spirit what this resistance is about. I didn't mean to put... Ooh, about, it's about childhood experiences. And, you know, um, what people were shown... Um, in terms of love and how love um, is expressed and how love is received. There's a lot of wounding here. I do think it's for both people in this third party connection, right? There's a lot of wounding here that they're, tr that they're being asked um, to process right now. That's what this resistance is about. Let's see how the peop these people feel in this connection. Both people here feel very frustrated. They're both looking for a way out of this maze. That's what I'm seeing. But they're not seeing a way out um, just yet. And that's because they are trapped by their thoughts and beliefs um, about relationships, about love, what it's supposed to be, what it's supposed to look like. What commitment is supposed to be? What commitment is supposed to look like? So to keep dancing around, looking for traditional ways out. But the exit here. Is, is going to be through strength. Look, we are that figure eight. It's going to be through strength. Um, and asserting yourself. There's no other way. I think both both people feel stuck here. I don't think I don't think it's just your person. Both people feel stuck here. Both people feel like this is not what they thought it would be. They feel frustrated. Both of them feel frustrated that they they keep going in the same circles, making the same moves, and not seeing um, any progress. Feel what this is now. I don't know. It's like a dog <laughs> or a cat. Ah, uh, it's a cat. It's a cat, but it's a it's a scary cat. It's a cat that's afraid. Or it could be a dog that's afraid. Because look, the tail is down, yes? I don't know much about cats to tell what it means if their tail is down or if their tail is up. So you can tell me. 
or cats are cats ever tails ever done i don't know but i know about dogs and when their tails kind of almost tucked between their legs like that it's about fair so i think both people they're afraid they're afraid and they also have a misguided sense of loyalty Afraid of, of afraid of what will happen if they stay and afraid of what will happen if they leave. So it's a fear of the unknown and a fear of the known. <laughs> so you're just kind of paralyzed, you know. You're paralyzed. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. I don't know what that is yet. Hmm. And so it's almost mirrored, almost, almost looks like the same form. This one looks like it's mirrored and inversed, like a distorted mirror, doesn't it? So they're mirroring each other too. Um, it's just in distorted ways. I see two people who are not in alignment. There's one person here that's operating in the upper chakras and one operating in the lower chakras. Someone is already kind of ascending and detaching. And the other is still kind of anchored um, into the earth here. But there's definitely a disconnection that they both feel. They both feel it. And listen, if you see other shapes and get other messages, please put them down below. Because, I mean, you are a reader too, right? You are reader too. All right, let's see what else is here. One of these persons may have um, an ancestor um, that's first peoples because this is reminding me of an artifact that I have here. Let me get it for you guys. The eyes on it. It's the same eyes, isn't it? Um, this is a handle from a clay pot. Um, and it's about, let's see, about 15th century. So these are the eyes that I was noticing. It's the same eyes. Okay, so somebody here... Um, one of their ancestors, I think, has First Peoples ancestry because um, these were made by the First Peoples of Trinidad and Tobago. Um, we call them the Amerindians, but they're much, they were much more complex um, that, than that. <laughs> right. So I won't go into the history lesson right now, but I found it very interesting that we had those eyes there. So there's definitely some ancestral direct... Uh, some ancestral energy directing this right now. Directing the path of both of these people. Mm -hmm. And then we have these coils here. Um, remind me of the snake. So, you know, both people are getting a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom from, ex from this experience. And both people in the throes of transformation, right? They are both, both of them in the chores of transformation. But again, it's not complete. It's not complete. There, I keep getting there's like, there's like a community around them because even this looks like a beehive to me. 
okay so there can even be a queen bee <laughs> that's orchestrating all of this it could even be like um, um it could be a matriarchal energy or something like that right where everybody's reliant on each other and any break you know um from the norm your ex, ex um am i saying exercised <laughs> no um you're ostracized um from the community you're outside the, you're outside the beehive once you're outside the beehive no basically you're left for dead so this could be a concern of your person too you know being ostracized from maybe a, a friend group a family group um some sort of community here So these are the things that's, that are weighing heavily on your person's mind. Let me see if I get any other messages. What I'm going to do after that for the extended. I'm going to take this because it's clean. And I don't like to waste it. And I'm going to put it in my teacup. And I'm going to have some tea. And then I'm going to read. I'm going to give you guys a high tea reading. Okay. So high vibrational tea reading. <laughs> so let me just see if there are any other messages here for you guys. But I, I think I started off right. It's 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 transformation and resistance. It's transformation that wants to happen, but then the pull um, to the old habits and the old way of being um, is still there. Let me see if there's anything else. There's a lot of talk. There are a lot of people that are talking about um, this connection. Okay? A lot of people. Jenna Tabea said, passing, uh, passing them out on them. Talking badly about this couple. Okay? Lots of talk. Lots of gossip. Surrounding the situation right now. Let's see what's being said. What's this gossip that's being said, Spirit? What's this gossip? We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Eight of Wands. And we have the justice here. For some of you, um, there's somebody in this partnership that might be facing the court system um, at this time. And there could also be talk of somebody leaving the situation. People are realizing that these people are bored. They're bored. They might go out and try to enjoy themselves. But nobody looks happy in this situation. Everybody looks guarded. And people are talking about that. For some of them, they might be going through a divorce or a legal separation with the Seven of Wands. And people are talking about that. And neither of these people like to be gossiped about. We have temperance. Yeah, this is being this is being put through the ring of fire here. So it could be that they may have tried to hide that they were having some sort of issues in this relationship, but people know the community knows. The community knows. The community knows that they're going through it. This is a purification process. The community knows. And people are talking about them. Okay. Um, if this feels like what you've already been getting, you can join me in the extended and I'm going to make that high vibrational tea. Um, if you're not able to join me in the extended, let me pull a card um, of advice for you. What's the advice for you right now? What's the advice? 
What's the advice from spirit? Underneath the deck, we have co-creation in reverse. I feel like it's a stand back kind of thing. Okay, we have exchanging gifts in reverse. So this is about ensuring that your connections, your relationships, there's an equal, um, an equal energetic exchange. Okay, let's have a look and see what that's about. Card number 27, that reduces to 9. So Spirit saying, continue to work on yourself. And ensure that every relationship in your life, whether it's a work relationship, an intimate partner relationship, a friendship, there's always an equal, there's always that equity. So it says, be careful what you pray for, because you just might get it. And then realize you don't want to face the hefty price that comes with it. You may find yourself in a situation you've always desired, but you knew you would have to walk away from or even fail at. Because you can't or won't pay the dues it asks of you. If you want to be a famous musician, you have to practice your craft every day. If you want to be a millionaire, you have to be responsible for managing the money and paying taxes. Even a windfall bears a cost. It's okay though because spirit will help you achieve balance over time. Another message here reminds you that being the only giver and not the receiver plays out in many relationships in your life where you find yourself in victim mode, in a codependent dynamic, or holding on to a false sense of control. Others may push you to continue to prove yourself. The time has come to distance yourself from this kind of imbalance. Being aware of the need for both give and take is the first step to your true destiny. It's all good and getting better. Not only can you handle this, but you can flourish as a result. So spirits and listen, let this thing play off as it should. Okay, let it play off. In the meantime, you work, work, you focus on loving yourself enough to demand equity in your relationships. It must always be that equal energetic exchange. Spirit is saying that's the lesson that you need to learn um, right now. So they are learning their lessons, and spirit is saying you focus on yours. So um, I'm going to go into extended and do this high, vib high vibrational tea. And let's see what other messages we can get, okay? I'm a love, so take care. Love you guys. Bye.